think we all know that I love a good build challenge in The Sims, and a couple weeks ago this girl tweeted at me and she was like, Hey Kayla, bet you can't build a triangle house in The Sims, and I was like, psh, psh, yes I can, and so literally like 30 minutes later I went live on Twitch and I, um, I built a triangle house. And I literally mean a house that is in the shape of a triangle. It's a nightmare. But I think it turned out kind of cool. Like, I'm honestly kind of proud of myself for this. It's obviously a little bit weird because there's lots of weird corners and stuff that you have to try and fill with items. It was kind of hard to put, like, you know, a kitchen down because it's all diagonal and pointy. <laughs> but it worked out kind of well. So here's what we did. I started out with a triangle and I was trying to figure out, like, how should I orient this? How big should it be? And I decided that I wanted most of the walls. There's three walls, obviously. I wanted two of them to be diagonal because I figured it would be harder if we had more diagonal walls. And so I I faced it this way and we had to build this house. I think the main concern that I had was making it not look so weird and flat because obviously the whole back of a house is just one big flat wall and so I was really worried about that. I wanted to make it look a little bit more interesting. So we ended up getting like triangle shaped balcony. There's a triangle shaped pool in the backyard. The whole backyard is a patio. It's raised up a little bit and it looks kind of good. I also made this two stories. The whole thing is a triangle. It's um... <laughs> It's kind of interesting, to say the least. I genuinely had so much fun doing this. There is a little bit of a porch in the front of the house that is not a triangle. I just, I felt like it needed that. It needed like a slight breakup of the triangle walls because everything was triangular. It was too much. So we put a little patio space there. There's like skylights on the roof. It's only one bedroom. It ends up being a one bedroom, two bathroom house. And the bedroom upstairs is more of just a loft space. It's just so hard to split up a house this small into like a bunch of bedrooms, especially because so much of it is weird triangle spaces. It's so hard to like turn those weird triangles into functioning rooms. And so you'll see the whole right side of the house on both floors ends up being bathrooms. I'll show you on a tour at the end of the build, but it's kind of hard to get them to fit. Like it kind of is very small space. And I was trying to make it have, you know, like a bathtub and everything. I wanted to fit that corner tub in it, but I just couldn't do it in the tiny room. It was honestly really hard to fit a floor plan into this too, to have like a kitchen and a dining space and a living space given especially how weird and like ang angular the walls are. There isn't like a nice normal direction to have a living room because all the walls are like in the shape of a triangle. So that was kind of a struggle. I think the biggest issue was the floor plan and like figuring out a layout, but we did it. And let me just tell you, I rose to this challenge when I got the tweet, because I was already gonna stream that day. I stream every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time, if you didn't know. I'm live on Twitch literally every single day except Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern. And so I was gonna go live in like 30 minutes already. I was gonna build, and I kind of had an idea for like building a cafe or something. And this girl was like, hey, bet you can't do a triangle. And I was like, Psh, hey, bet I can. And so I did it. <laughs> it just was really funny, like the timing of it, where I was like, you know what? You think I can't do it? Well, I'll do it right now. <laughs> and, and I did it. And I think it turned out kind of good. Granted, this was like two weeks ago now. I've been sitting on this build for a while. But it happened. <laughs> I'll link my Twitch channel down below if you want to follow me over there. And honestly, I'll link my Twitter as well. I'm getting like a little bit close to 100,000 Twitter followers. Not like that close. We still have a few thousand to go. <laughs> but like, you know, in the, in the scheme of things. A few thousand away from a hundred thousand is pretty close to a hundred thousand if you ask me. So I'll link my Twitter as well. I don't tweet that often so I won't like spam your timelines or anything. Don't worry, I'm a safe Twitter follow. I swear, I'm not spammy. I think I make some, you know, decent tweets on occasion when I do post them. I think Twitter is a very anxiety inducing place if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't tweet that often, it's too much pressure. I think the kitchen though dictated like the majority of this build. So you'll see me struggling with the kitchen a bunch in this because I was trying to fit it under the stairs because we kind of have a limited amount of space. To be honest, we actually have a pretty decent amount of space, but the fact that so many of the walls are angular made it really hard to make that space functional. So I was trying to fit things like underneath the stairs and trying to use the stairs to break up the room um, It ended up working out kind of well, but it was annoying because I really wanted to have like a vent hood and stuff above the stove And it just um, it didn't happen eventually because I had to put the stove underneath the stairs It's all still functional. I play tested it There's like a level of how underneath the stairs an item can go and I I pushed it to the very edge <laughs> It is the farthest underneath the stairs it can go and still be functional plus you'll see the bathroom doors in this house um, in these little triangular rooms, they look like your sims can't walk through them. They go into very small corners. So you're gonna look at it and think, mm, that's not gonna open. That's not a thing. But just imagine the door swings outward and don't worry. <laughs> 
I play tested it. Your Sims can still walk through. It just, it just looks like they can't. And to be honest, this house ends up being really expensive, like embarrassingly expensive, because I ended up using like the most expensive appliances, some really expensive TVs and beds and stuff. Like just the stove and fridge are like 13K each in that kitchen. I mean, how ridiculous is that? But it had that like black and white vibe that I was going for. So I, I had to. I mean, it was all, it was just for the vibes, you know? Honestly, I would love to see you guys try and do this. Try and make a triangle house work because there's different angles you can put it at. I mean, you can rotate it differently. You don't have to use diagonal walls for the whole thing. But like the idea of trying to make a house that is straight up just a triangle, not look like it's a, a weird triangle house is really hard, I think, <laughs> because it's such a weird looking shape, especially the back. I mean, I was talking about this earlier, but like when you look at this house from the back, it's just a wall. And so I was trying really hard to find out ways to to make it look like less of just a wall. So I was trying to fit like fancy things with windows and columns and I was trying to put like grass on the wall, like vines up the wall and I was trying to use balconies to break it up a little bit more. And I think I did an okay job. It just, it definitely was a little bit weird looking. I will admit that, but you know what? It's a challenge, it's a triangle challenge. <laughs> and all things considered, it, it didn't end up that bad. I feel like this could have gone so much worse. You know, and when you think about a triangle build, like. And honestly, the balcony, super weird that it's a triangle like that, but it's kind of fun, especially mirroring, mirroring that pool that I've got back there. Like it ends up kind of being interesting. And plus I put like half grass back there, but obviously the whole back thing's on a foundation. So it ends up being like a partial grass tile. So it isn't actually grass in the game. It's just a floor tile, but it looks kind of fun. So once we get to the backyard, I'll show you guys that. I've been having a lot of fun doing backyards and patios recently. I've been really enjoying trying to like deck them out better deck, get it? Cause like they're, they're decks and stuff. I just, I feel like I'm not very good at that sort of thing. And so I've been trying really hard to, to make more detailed, more like complicated, interesting backyards because realistically having that outdoor space when you're actually playing with your Sims is really fun. Like I kind of am just so used to playing in houses where it's like, I have this Sim, but they have no money. So I've built them a house. I'm playing a legacy challenge and I have like literally 3000 simoleons to make a build. So it's just a box. And then as you build it up, you kind of add things slowly, but you like neglect the outside obviously because you're trying to afford like a fridge and a computer <laughs> and so I'm so used to playing that way that I kind of forget to like make cool backyards and outdoor spaces when you're playing with like no budget and you can do whatever you want in your sims build it's really fun to make like really fancy like outdoor decks and cool outdoor kitchens and stuff and like make fun sunbathing areas and bars outside and just really go for it i've been enjoying doing that a lot i really wish that i had that in real life <laughs> like an outdoor space like that that would be the dream to be honest i do feel a little bit embarrassed that i built this whole house for two sims and it costs so much money. Like when you think about how expensive the items I was using were, I think this house costs like upwards of 100K simoleons and it's for two sims, <laughs> which is really shameful. So I'm sorry, but listen, sometimes you want some rich people to live in a triangle, you know, and that's fine. If you wanna live in a triangle, go for it. I don't know if I see myself actually playing in this house all that often, but you know what? If you want to, then you want to. I'm pretty sure I play tested it with my sim self also. Um, so this, maybe it's my dream house and I just don't realize it. Although I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that I personally would want like an all black and white house like this. I think that I need a little bit more color in my life than this. <laughs> I mean, I have a blue sofa um, downstairs in my living room. I personally would not prefer this sort of style. Although I do respect it and it is kind of cool. Like honestly, being like this dedicated to a style and like committing to all black and white, kind of bold, kind of impressive. I'm into it. You could get like some zebra carpets if you wanted to. I should have used the zebra rug in this house. It was my one chance, my one shot. There's that like zebra print rug from Get Famous. This was the one time that we could have pulled that off and we didn't even use it. We gotta try again. We gotta build a new triangle house. <laughs> I wish that we had more like interesting shaped rugs, to be honest. That's a lie. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I don't want more. Give me more normal rugs. If anything, we need more normal rugs. I need like the plainest of the plain rugs. Just give me a beige rug. <laughs> I, we have so many patterned and brightly colored rugs and stuff, and that's fun and all, but we definitely need more neutral ones. I'm going to be honest. This, listen, we live in real life, all of us here, and I think that most people have neutral rugs. <laughs> I mean, there is the occasional zebra print rug that you'll find or like hot pink rug. I just feel like the Sims oftentimes try to save us a lot of like pattern and option with stuff like that, but they neglect the neutrals. 
and sometimes you just need a neutral. It can have pattern on it. It just needs to be like subtle with like neutral tones, you know, like beiges and whites and grays and stuff. Like that's the kind of thing I need. <laughs> that fits my style in real life a little bit more too. But like also just most of my Sims houses, like I like to use a little bit of color, but I do want to have some neutral rugs to kind of pull things together. I prefer to use like a brightly colored dining chair and then a neutral rug if I was going to do that, you know? Because especially when you're trying to have like an open floor plan, you can't have like a green and then a hot pink rug in the same room. Especially like polka dot ones and stuff. We have so many weird rugs in this game. I, I think that rugs and curtains are my most like desired items for this game. I just need more options um, and like better fitting ones for rooms and windows, more sizes, more round rugs. I mean, that's that's my main goal here. <laughs> you can give me a triangle one too if you want at this point, but I just, I feel like we need some better, more easily applied rugs for a lot of spaces, right? I do respect the fun colors and patterns, but I just, I think that we have enough. <laughs> we, we need to have more neutrals. Who's with me? Justice for neutrals, am I right? I say this while I have like some like wild pattern on my walls inside of this house. I use the mosquito stuff pack and put like crazy patterns and things places. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but we need more neutrals. This is my first time actually using a lot of the mosquito stuff pack items. Machino? Mosquino? Mosquito is what I call it personally, like the bug. Um, but I haven't used like the little sofa that it came with. I haven't really used the wallpapers that much ever, but I used a couple of those things in this build, which was kind of fun because again, I haven't really used them that often. So it was kind of exciting to get to use them in here. This house really fits that style, I think. I didn't use the windows. I've used the windows a fair amount. Honestly, you guys, the mosquito stuff pack, the cast is absolutely terrible worthless garbage and I'm I'm being completely honest with you worthless garbage in the cast of that pack and given the fact that it's a cast pack like it's supposed to be like a high fashion pack ridiculous but the fashion designer career is kind of fun and the camera is super cool like the photos you can take with it and the items are great like I think mosquito stuff pack is genuinely a really cool pack I wish that it wasn't tied to like the, that brand <laughs> because separate from that brand it's kind of a fun idea I like this high fashion sims pack I don't really understand the collab but you know what on its own if you if you pretend it's called mosquito and you think about it as being like a camera pack it's a really fun tool for taking like photos of your sims like family photos and stuff like that and plus just having all the items the windows are great so honestly I'm gonna say I recommend that pack it's fun it really is. Honestly, Tiny Living 2 is pretty fun. I've been having a lot of fun with these most recent stuff packs. They're both things that I would never would have expected to get in The Sims, and so getting them has been a lot of fun to like mess around with, so highly recommend. I should clarify that this house is not a tiny home. <laughs> this house is not even remotely close to being a tiny home. It's small, and a lot of the space is like kind of unusable because it's so triangular, but it's not, it's not a tiny home. It's way too many tiles. I think it's like 130 or something in the actual build, plus the whole backyard is tile, so it ends up being way too many to be a tiny home. People in my chat were asking that when I was streaming it, and I was like, no guys, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> we are not even remotely a tiny house here with this one. But speaking of tiny living, I'm gonna honestly say this. I think that tiny living is one of the best stuff packs they've ever made. I have had so much fun playing with it. The items are great, the cast is really good. The whole concept of making tiny homes and like the challenge aspect of it, how they tell you how many tiles you have, it's so much fun. I have been having so much fun building them. I haven't had this much fun with the Sims pack in so long. Like, I keep coming back to it, and it's a stuff pack. So it's just $10. Like, I I cannot speak highly enough of this one. I never expected to get a thing like that, and it really has been a lot of fun for me. A, a complete game changer. Obviously, I'm, I'm a builder in the Sims. I do a lot of building, so it really appeals to me <laughs> and what I do. But even just if you play, like, the regular game, if you're big into Sims challenges, like, playing things like the 100 Baby Challenge or, or other things like that with the Tiny Living Pack, it gives your Sims the skill boost so it's really exciting. I, I have a lot of fun with that one. I think it's a great pack. I love they did that. I really do. I, I'm a big fan. I've definitely seen some questionable stuff packs on their end, but as far as gameplay goes, like, how often do you use things like romantic garden stuff? Like, it's got gameplay. <laughs> oh, a wishing well. You know, this one is like actually a complete game changer as far as how building works in The Sims. It's very exciting. So, I cannot speak highly enough of it. <laughs> We're kind of coming close to the end of the actual speed build part here though. I'm just doing the landscaping now. You can see the whole build is sort of finished and coming together a little bit. This one turned out really cute. And here we have my triangle build. On the gallery, I just called it triangle. 
Because I didn't know what to say. I mean, how do you describe a thing like this? I, I'm not good with like clever names or anything, but it costs 110,000 simoleons, uh, which is way too expensive, way too many packs. But here's what it looks like when it's placed down and complete. Let's talk about this for a second, because obviously we got the pizza and the pool, of course, how could we not? There's a little sitting area. This thing is actually like a fire pit. This coffee table when it's in game works like a fire pit. Well, it doesn't work like one, but it looks like one. So there's that. There's an outdoor kitchen space and a bar. We got a table, we got some seating areas. I really liked having the grass just open. It felt very classy to me to like not put any other landscaping or furnishing out there. I feel like it's kind of a flex in itself to just have a big open backyard full of grass, right? And so I just left it grass. I thought it looked cool. Maybe it's boring and bland and I'm just dumb, but I kind of liked it just like that. When you actually come inside, the living space isn't that bad. I mean, you've got a big curtain, you've got some cool wallpaper, there's a dining room, Room, a full living room with a fireplace and a TV. TV is a little bit high up on the wall, but it's The Sims, so it doesn't matter, right? Kitchen is stunning. This over here isn't actually functional, but I liked the space being there, and the window behind the stairs adds some extra light in here, which works out well. This bathroom is so small, but it works. It's got the toilet, it's got the sink, you know, you can stare right in there from the outside. <laughs> I did this, I put this like divider next to the shower because I liked the idea of it seeming like this was a walk-in shower over here. And so there's like the tile and the divider to kind of block it off. I thought that was really cool. I did it upstairs as well, same thing. But the master actually has a tub. I really wanted to put one of the triangle tubs. I like really wanted to fit this in here, but I just, it was so big. I felt like I couldn't get it to fit and not look stupid. So I didn't put it in even though I really wanted to. It just, it's not a big enough bathroom. You know, the, the space is not big enough for that. But also upstairs, there's a skylight, so it's kind of bright in here right now. But you've got a little workspace over here. Honestly, imagine working at this desk. What a view, right? Fancy bed, fancy bookcase, fancy chair thing. The patio has like a yoga mat and a chess table. You've got all your bases covered. For the small fee of 110,000 simoleons, you could live in a really weird triangle for no reason. <laughs> With just two sims, max. Because, you know what? Maybe you need that, you know? Ah, who am I kidding? It's a complete waste of money. <laughs> it's kind of a fun idea though. And I don't think it looks that bad. It does, it looks kind of bad. I'm sorry. It's on the gallery if you want it. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. People are out here building like majestic, amazing mansions, and I'm just like, hmm, I'm gonna build a triangle. <laughs> I, you know what? It's fine. It's fun, right? It's fun.